Uh, is, is something gonna happen? Oh, shit. If I just sit here and watch, is that dude gonna, like, die? Or is he, like, an important NPC and so he can't die? He has plot armor. Definitely seems like it. I like how I said I wasn't going to... Is this the Great Plateau? Should I use a bomb on this? It's crazy. I don't have remote bombs, so I don't have infinite bombs. Which, uh... You know, that was, um... That was one of the things I liked about Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Frick, so if I want to blow this up, I'm gonna have to actually use a bomb? Dude. If it, when it lands, is it going to blow up? How is this gonna work? Here's what I don't want. I don't want to throw this and have it roll back to me and then kill me. I actually don't know how much damage these bombs do. At the same time, I can't be too close to me. Okay, this rock here will, maybe it'll prop it up. I don't know. Ooh. Okay, so it instantly blows up. Okay, what's, oh God. Uh, oh, okay. All right. It is the Great Plateau. Oh, this is the lake. Holy, what is that? Do I even want to know? That looks sketchy. There's like smoke, red smoke coming out of it. That's gonna be like some kind of boss fight, and I'm gonna. <laughs> I don't. I don't think I want to check that out. Ooh. Okay, that works. Let's see. This does thirty. Yeah. So let's do thirty. What? Oh, there we go. All right. Well, ice seems to be the answer. I think ice would have worked the best. Topaz rod. What were we doing again? That, see, that's the thing. Is like you get you get so sidetracked. Although I kind of like it though. I, I like being being getting sidetracked like this. It's it's kind of like I said. You could spend a lot of time in this game. It's already been like what. Like, like almost an hour, and I, I haven't really done anything. <laughs> That's another thing. Like uh, other Zelda games are have a lot more action in them. Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom are mostly empty. You could spend like an hour running around and not have anything to do. I've 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 played for fifty minutes and I only had one fight. <laughs> Now, I always like puzzles. Puzzles are my favorite part of Zelda games. Oh! Oh! Okay. I got it. Can I not attach it to both? It looks like I can only attach it to one. It should work anyway. Hmm. Yeah, it does work. It's a little finicky, but it does work. I can grab this, right? What good does that do? Oh, and it just falls back down. Surely it's not like I'm supposed to use these to just walk up there, right? I feel like there should be a more elegant solution. Oh, there's a there's a chest up here. I could just grab it. Oh, I can't. Why can't I grab it? Hello? Hmm. Wait. Oh my god. Oh, it looks like a hard enough impact will cause the glue to break. Interesting. Mighty Construct Bow. 
Oh, I definitely want to replace something with that. Like I said, oh, wait, 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 wait. I could probably just use this, right? Yeah. I forget that this is a thing. But there's probably, like, one more layer to it. Yeah, there's another layer to it. Oh! Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. This, I have to push up. And then I have to use rewind to keep it up. Right? Okay. This will be easier if I just put this on here. Then I'll go... There's probably a, a couple ways you could do this. I don't know if I'm choosing the most ridiculous way or if this is a, a better way. gotta hold it for a bit like that and then and then I can use recall on the whole thing like that yeah so you have to use, like, a combination of things. Ooh. Okay. Well, the blood moon's coming. Alright, let's be careful. I want to be careful, just in case the blood moon does something different in this game. The endless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. All right, okay. So the Blood Moon does the same thing as it did before. Discovery! Shrine of Resurrection. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm familiar. I probably unlocked something here because of this. Danger! Urgh, so you knew it was a trap. Your life is mine! Yeah, well, too bad. Okay. Let's, uh, let's see here. Bro, drop it. Oh, gosh. It doesn't help that I'm not very familiar with this, uh, thing. But, equip. Oh, and he's dead. That's pretty powerful. Authorized or verified. How did you get here? Visit the abandoned central mine in the depths and return here after. Let me back up real quick. This has to work. This ought to be good, right? Oh, another eightfold blade. Oh, what's this? What is this? I I like how it took like 10 billion years for me to finally be able to, like, interact with it. That's so finicky, bro. Okay, well, we got some Korok seeds. There we go. This works. Nice. All right. Oh, but you get two Korok seeds every time you do this, though. So this is actually a better source of Korok seeds. I mean, I have more, so I can always I can always make more. And chew jelly is easy to find. 
So I guess... But this is my last arrow. Alright, let's make it count. Okay. Whew. Oh my god, there's an icy chew. What is this? White chew jelly. Ice like like stone. What's that? Ice fruit? I don't know if that was worth it. I'm not sure if it was worth it. That's okay. Now I can safely get under it. Oh, there's a shrine here. Okay, well, let's not be stupid. Amber? Rock salt. Let's see what this shrine is about. Fire and water. Oh, this could be... Oh, wait a minute. We got this chew jelly. I want to drop one, and I want to see if I can electrify it. You can! Oh, yes! We got four boxes. We have ice, metal, wood, and stone. Stone can be... Well, no, stone cannot be climbed on. Ice can be climbed on. And because you can climb on ice, I have a very sneaking suspicion that I'm supposed to use the ice to climb up there somehow. We have steel, wood, okay, wood floats on water and so does ice. And then steel conducts electricity, which we have a ball of electricity here. I don't know how that's going to help, but we've got to keep that in mind. The ice is also conductive, if that make, ever makes a difference. The stone, I don't think the stone really has any... Fun, useful properties aside from it's able to block the fire without burning which the ice both the ice and the wood crates will disappear if I let them touch the fire so they can't touch the fire but the steel and the stone can touch the fire and the steel the steel conducts electricity and the stone does not now You can also push wood. That's another fun property. I don't know if that's going to help. You can't... And none of these are climbable except for the ice. Ice is the only one that's climbable. You can't even climb the wood. If I put one on top of the other, can I... Can, ooh! I was going to ask, can I do this? I can. Can I do that through all of the materials? Alright. They all have different weights to them too. So if I have to start fusing things, I'll have to keep that in mind as well. This is interesting. we got, you know, the elemental... The elemental blocks. <laughs> Since you can pull the electricity out of the water and, and put it to the side, I see no reason why this ever is going to be something I have to worry about. Okay, so the wood floats in the water, but it doesn't, like... It, it's not very easily supported. It doesn't support weight very easily. Okay, maybe... Maybe... The wood is not the answer for that. Maybe the steel, and maybe I'm supposed to use the steel elsewhere. Like maybe the steel is supposed to block that. Then we take the crate, but I don't think we can reach with the crate. I think we have to, yeah, no, we can't reach with the crate. That's the whole point of this puzzle. So then we jump on this, and probably you're not supposed to know you can move the electricity. 
maybe the electricity is supposed to like be stuck there and they screwed it up or something and so you're supposed to put the steel there so that you don't get shocked but since you can pull the electricity out you don't even have to worry about that but then you go up here No, stop. Use the Ultra Hand to pick up... Oh. Wait a minute. I can't reach it from here. As I said before, there's a... I can trivialize this because you can climb lava slabs. So, there's a way to trivialize this, but... I want to do this genuinely with the four blocks. I'm pretty sure you can do it with just the four blocks. Let's move this. Okay, so yeah, that's as high as we can pull move ice. Here's my thought. Climb on the ice to get this. Or oh, you can put it on top. Oh, we're close. Okay. We need one more block. Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Oh, okay. It, it's okay. I figured it out. I figured it out. Okay. We take this out of the water. Ow! Ow! Frick. Careful. Put this here. We used it before, but now we don't need it anymore, because now we can use it to block the block the fire. And now we use the ice. Wait. No. Wait, no, I think that I think it would work anyway. Yeah, I think it would work anyway. But just 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 so that we can clear all bases, right? Let's just make sure. I just want to make doubly sure. Oh, I got it. I got it. Huh? Wait a minute. What? No, this doesn't make sense. Because if I go in there, like, okay, if I get on top of there, because, see, the angle is weird. It's really, like, I'd have to get up there, lift the ice block somewhere. At, somehow I have to climb the ice block in order to get to where I need to go. And I can't, can I, no, that's as high as I can move it. Because there's a limit to how high you can move it. Because if I go up there, that still doesn't solve the issue. Oh, shit. Let's get up there and see what happens. I don't think this is going to work now that I'm looking at it, but maybe I'm, maybe I'm overthinking it. Because of the angle, that's the thing I'm worried about. So now we're up here, yeah? It seems too sketchy. No, I'm too high. Ow. And no, I can't lift it high enough. And I need the stone in order to... 
to go up. And that's too high for me to pick up the ice. Somehow, okay, I think, I think what needs to happen is I have to get up here with everything. I need all of the blocks. Oh my gosh, I don't, what am I missing? Wow, this is really stumping me. I'm not using the slabs. I, I, I'm, because the slabs, if the slabs are part of the solution, I'm going to be really upset because... Maybe it's not lazy. Maybe they do expect you to use the slabs just to climb up, but I feel like it, I feel like that's so boring because the thing is, is you wouldn't even need all of these blocks in order to get up here. It would kind of defeat the purpose. You'd never have a reason to like put out the wooden box. The ice block is smaller than all the other boxes. All of the boxes are the same height, except for the ice. And the ice is also climbable. And I'm thinking that if the ice is on top of another block, like this, I'm thinking that we're still close enough, yes, we're still close enough to actually pick up a box. So that should be true even when we're up here. So that's, that might be, a, so we, that, I think that might change some things. That means I'll be able to use it like a staircase. I'll be able to climb up one step higher and I'll actually be able to pick up one more block. I think we put the steel box here. Okay. Climb up the ice onto the stone, put the ice on top of the steel. I'm surprised that the, that the steel box doesn't conduct fire, right? And like melt the ice because it's touching the fire and then also touching the ice. I'm surprised that that's not a part of this, but whatever. Take the wood box, I think. This is my theory. Take the wood box and put it here. Like that. And then I can use the stone, because I can't climb the stone. I had to use the ice in order to climb on top of the stone in order to reach to put it up there. Then I can take this Put it here. Well, I guess it doesn't matter where I put it. I could put it here. And then go up. But because of the height of the... Oh? Okay. That was weird. It wasn't letting me do it for a moment. Now that I'm up here, I can pick up the wood box from here. But I still don't know how that changes anything. Oh, I think I'm overthinking it. Wait. Oh no, I'm overthinking it. Wait, I got it. We we still have we we have rewind. Wait, I think it's as simple as just lift the box up and then stand on it. Okay, no. Eh. So it has to be not attached. And then we just lift it up. Like that. And then bring it down. Okay, and then we use rewind. Yeah? Yeah! <laughs> Oh my goodness! Holy crap! Oh, that took me a long time- oh, I, I completely forgot that rewind was a thing! Oh, that's- okay, I'm so glad that I actually spent the time trying to solve that with just the boxes. 
You can totally cheese this with the lava slabs, but I did not want to do that. I wanted to I wanted to do it with just the boxes. That's cool! That's that's a really elegant solution. Oh, I like that. Oh my god, that took me that took me forever. But I mean, oh dude. See, those are the kind of puzzles I love. This is this is this is that's the best part of the Zelda games. Or just puzzles in general. Oh, I, I love I love a good puzzle. Oh, that was so that that was so satisfying. Uh, do I want to do this? Who? Oh gosh. I feel like I should make it denser. Oh my god. I'm like too scared. But if I wait, then I'm never gonna get there. What am I doing? I can just walk across. Why would I do this? No, 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 no. There, there are better ways. If that was my only option, okay, maybe. But I, I literally can just do this. There's probably like a Korok up there. Let me check it out. Oh, but there's enemies flying about. I'm gonna go up there anyway. This was where a shrine was in the uh, in Breath of the Wild. I remember that. Ooh, what's this? Royal Claymore. This has to be a Korok. Okay, yeah. There's like a... There's a thing there too. All these red areas like make me really wonder what they are. I'm kind of scared to approach them though. I'm going to... Because they're probably... It's probably going to be... It, there's probably going to be, like, an enemy in there or something that is too strong for me to deal with, like I said before. And I'm trying to avoid fights as much as I can. I guess a, a wing would be good. Let's take out the wing. Oh, you can't take it out here. Bro. What's the point of giving me these things that are supposed to be... I'm supposed to be able to use them anywhere. If I can't use them anywhere. Was there just not enough space? There we go. Jesus. Rewind. Okay. Okay. There we go. Here we are. Alright. Now. My shield. Oh. The temperature is getting high? Uh, I didn't think this through. I didn't think this through. Uh-oh. I didn't realize the temperature was going to get high. I think we're screwed. We're dead. That's a Lionel. There's no way we make it to that in time. Okay, now we climb. I thought I was gonna die because it said it was getting hot, but maybe, I guess not. Oh god. Oh, now it's hot. But in the shade, we're safe. Sunshroom. Allows you to endure the bitter cold. No, that's the opposite of what I need. All right. Doesn't seem to be hot here, so that's good. Is this gonna be another one of another puzzle that takes me ages to fit, to do? I'm getting kind of tired, but actually, but the nice thing about it is that I can play this game while tired. It's not like a huge high energy game, so I can just sit back and relax. It's not like Toho, where I'm screaming my head off. <laughs> the possibilities that Nintendo created by making this game, oh my goodness. I love these puzzles. F 
Finally! Finally I have arrows. Oh my goodness. Bruh. Throw a bright bloom seed. Woo! <laughs> that was uh, one hell of a fling. I did that- I did that way too well. I think I did that better than they expected you to do it. Oh my goodness. That is a really weird animation for receiving the heart. This should work. When it blinks once, I'll, tr I'll go, because I think I'm panicking when it's one. That should do it. I think we're golden now. Now we just uh, kick back and relax. I mean, I could try to land on there, I suppose, but I don't really think I would get much out of it. I really want to go here, if I can. And I should be able to. I think, yeah, I think I have enough to do it. Probably will end up crashing into it. Hey! Oh, shit. Okay. Crash. Okay, we need to crash. Like, actually. Whew! Okay. Well, we made it. <laughs> now what? Oh shit. Well. Um. I ended up in some dangerous territory. Holy crap. I might be able to get away with opening this chest though. Maybe it'll have something good inside. A bomb might be able to take care of all of those guys. I mean, this is going to cause a heck of a, a heck of an explosion. I think mixing two types is going to yield better results. I can't believe that didn't blow it up. Are you kidding me? It also didn't hit anybody. I also didn't throw that as far as I wanted to. You can't, what? Let's uh, try that again. This time with the red chew jelly. And this time we're just gonna go long. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's what I like to see. 
They're not even coming up to investigate. Oh, he's dead. Okay, cool. I don't think it's necessary to use Chew Jelly. I think we can do without. Might even be able to... I could have pro I could probably attach something else. Not a bomb. Dazzle Fruit. Never tried this before. Uh, I wasn't expecting that to just kill him, but uh, I guess, uh, I guess it did. <laughs> uh, it's very unlike me to be this, uh, this quiet, but it is like midnight. Yeah, let's use a fire fruit. Perfect. Now we just have to take care of this guy. Oh no, there's two of them. Okay, this guy I should take care of with the, with that. I don't need to waste a... Uh, he's so close. I don't need to waste... I can just use a fire chew. And then the last guy... Just leaves him. And there he is. I should just be able to fight him. Eh, YOLO. You only live once. He's, he notices me. Ow. That was almost cool. What? Oh! <laughs> oh my god, I have to suppress my laughter because my mom is sleeping. Holy crap. Oh, I'm about to go to bed. Is that my- is that my ship? Or not my ship. My- my glider? Oh my god, I still have it. How is that even possible? Oh my gosh. Dude, that was- I completely forgot I had the flaming shield, holy crap. <laughs> oh gosh! Oh! So, <laughs> welcome Sabak. Holy crap, somebody actually showed up. <laughs> I'm actually about to end stream. <laughs> Oh, I've been playing for... Oh my god, I've been playing for... For eight hours. Holy crap. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, I'm... It's, dude. I, I'm also trying to keep it down because my mom is sleeping and it's late. It's like... It's, it's well past midnight right now. But, uh... Dude, I've just been having a lot of fun with Tears of the Kingdom. Although, if you watch the VOD, it might... It, I, I think the VOD will be pretty boring, because nobody showed up, so I didn't really have anybody to talk to. But I've been having fun. It's It's been pretty chill. Nice to- it's it's nice to just sit back and relax, you know what I mean? Whoa, why is my chat up there? I know, I'm, tr I'm trying to keep it quiet, I just said that. See, I, I just woke my mom up, but I'm about to go to bed, so, and I was being really quiet, too. I just kind of should. She's just a really light sleeper. I was not expecting this to be up for this long. I don't know. H am I going to be able to climb this? What is this? Okay, well, I guess I better get climbing. Oh my goodness, what is that? What is this? If I touch it, will I die? Probably I'll at least take damage. What is this? Oh. 
Oh my goodness. What? Oh, it's just hard to move in. Yeah, this is definitely on the way to Zor's domain. That'll be interesting. Hmm. I have... Dude, I so want to see what this is all about, but I'm gonna have to hold off and do that next time. <laughs> I don't know when the next time I'll play Tears of the Kingdom is. I think Tears of the Kingdom is a good game to just kind of chill and relax. So if I have to do another late night stream, that might be when I pull out Tears of the Kingdom. But, uh, yeah, that'll be it.